What's going on, y'all? Paul the Barbarian here. Just throwing another video at you. I figure I'd take it down a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of stretching. I'm going to answer a, a question from the community post that I put out the other day. Josh Klein hit me up and he's like, one of the questions he asked was, uh, what was it kind of like to go to a bigger event? I'll get a little bit more of me in the, in the camera here. Um, what, what it's like to go to a bigger tournament? Like, what do you, what, what should you expect? I mean, your first tournament's going to be full of all kinds of craziness. Uh, my first tournament was in Illinois or Indiana. Um, went all the way out there, Route 66 Hotel, hanging out and banging it out with a bunch of dudes, going to nationals. Um, but I've been to tons of tournaments, been overseas, uh, been to a whole bunch across the, across the country, local tournaments, all kinds of stuff, two-day tournaments, three-day tournaments, uh, done the four days. It's all been a random runaround of everything. Uh, so, Josh, I'm going to figure out, give you a little bit of an insight. So, I'm also going to do some stretching. Stretching is very important. You need to do that every day. Uh, the longer you are flexible and able to keep your joints moving, the longer you're going to live. There's no real question about that. You want to stay limber. You want to be able to do the things you need to do and not have to worry about cramps and all that stuff. So, beginning of the day, end of the day, do a short little, uh, short little stretching section, session. It helps out a lot. I'll tell you what. Um, so... <laughs> Talking about tournaments and stuff like that, first you got to do all the organization. You got to figure out um, hotel rooms. You got to figure out all kinds of different uh, how you're getting there, where you're going, how, how you're getting from the airport to the hotel, what hotel you're going into, if you're going to be meeting up with all your team or anything else like that. Um, one of the things you really have to make sure that you're all on the same page. At least everybody's getting there, everybody's getting their gear there. Um, you always have to deal with the problems of like loot gear getting lost on an airplane or something weird like that it can happen it's okay we've actually gotten most all of our armor back i figure um going through all the tournaments that we've gone and done so you need to you usually find one guy in your team that gives generally has most of the details put together i mean you're going to go out there on your own pocket so you got to figure out that kind of thing but that you try to do things as a team makes it a little bit more organized makes it a little bit easier on you um, details can be figured out on mass with a lot of people looking at it. So you can, everybody gets one idea and you go from there. So you get into the state, you get in there, you have all your gear with you. You have everything figured out to get there. So you get to the hotel. Uh, usually there's a bunch of people hanging out. Most of the guys are around you. Hopefully it's not everybody's first tournament on your team. Um, but most of those guys will know somebody there. A little, like somebody will be hanging out in the in the um, lobby, be talking and everything else like that. It's general camaraderie kind of stuff. Nobody's really at each other's throats about anything. It's all about going out and doing the sport and having fun, meeting everybody. So you hang out a little bit um, that Friday night that you get there, um, and basically you can hang out for as long as you want. You should go to hell to sleep though. Seriously, get as much rest as you can. Um, you're going to be hydrating, hydrating, hydrating from start to finish of this. You should be hydrating a day beforehand, two days beforehand, the whole week. You have to like saturate your body so you don't really need to go and drink while you're in the middle of the tournament because that'll make your gut all twist up and everything else like that. You don't want to be drinking a lot while you're fighting. Uh, you want to be pre-hydrated, pre-saturated. I've always found that to be a better situation for me. Um, it's all kind of up to you. You're an athlete. Make your own decisions. You're an adult. So, go to hell to bed. Saturday morning, you wake up, get yourself all put together, eat something. You're not going to be fighting for a good while. Most tournaments, you have a good amount of lead time in the beginning of the, beginning of the day on Saturday. We're leading into the tournament until you actually have to put on armor and fight. Unless they're like running 9 o'clock, be there, be done. Like we're fighting at 9 o'clock, eat something before you leave the hotel. It's uh, very important. You're going to need that fuel to get through the day. Um, you're not going to want to eat while you're in armor. It's just not it, like other than the few little snacky bits you get every now and again, but you don't want to be running around trying to pound food while you're, uh, while you're fighting. You'll just puke it all out and puking through a face plates, like puking through a colander. Doesn't really help you out too much. Um, so you have all your gear. You got to go and sign in. You have to have your ID with you and everything else like that. Usually a good thing. Sometimes they do prior stuff, uh, prior sign ins and everything else like that. But, Depends on the tournament. Um, most larger tournaments, you're signing in beforehand, um, and they usually do like a pre-check uh, pre on the day of. Um, 
And then you and then you usually bring over your weapons at the same time. All weapons need to be checked beforehand. They might do it Friday night at the hotel or something like that. Depends on how like set up the marshals are and what they want to do. Um, so get your weapons out, get them inspected. You already have checked your gear. All of your gear is already figured out. You've already done a pre-checklist. I'm going to do a whole thing of like how to pack your bag to get into an airplane, how to check all your armor, double checking things, things that are really important, like make a little checklist for you guys so you can like have a better idea about it so you're not walking in so blind. So make sure you eat something. You're on site, got your armor out. I usually put on my legs. Um, before, like a little bit before I have to really get into armor and walk around my legs and let myself get acclimated. Don't just sit down and be a lump because then you're just going to be all, uh, you're, you're going to be a lump. Lumping's not good when you're like getting ready to fight. You need to be loose. You need to be stretching beforehand. Before you get in your armor, you stretch out, um, do all that kind of stuff. Um, so I usually put on my, uh, put on my legs, do a little bit of stretching, keep myself moving around, hydrating the whole time that I'm doing it. Um, then you get in your right, you, you have a meeting with your team. Usually your team captain's got a pretty good idea of what he's doing. Um, you're already going to know the fight order for the day. You're going to know what order of fights you're really going to be in. Um, if you're just picking up with a random crew of dudes, like you're just a spare guy from your chapter that came out, um, they'll put you in a team with a dude. They'll put you, they'll put a veteran in charge of you and you'll be able to look to him and they'll be able to give you some answers. Um, if you're bringing your own support, make sure that they understand that they're going to be helping you put on armor and everything else like that. Because you can't put on this armor by yourself. Um, it's just not how it is. You'll have gone to a couple, hopefully have gone to a couple practices and checked all your armor out and had had your veterans look it over and make sure that you're all situated. Um, so, then you fight. You fight the day out. You fight as much as you humanly can. You fight until you literally cannot stand it. Demand and all in all. If like half the fighters are are down at the end of the tournament, they don't feel like doing another one. Ask them to do another one. Ask them to do an all in all. All in alls are important. All in alls and fun. Let you put one more impact on the day. Let you put one more one more notch in the belt for the day, and that'll um. I usually find that to be helpful. Uh, and fighting, 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 fighting. You always want to be fighting, right? That's kind of the whole idea of this thing. So. You gear down. One thing of importance, bring a spare pair of clothing. Bring an extra pair of pants and an extra t-shirt. Socks, not so much. I don't sweat through my socks so much. But bring an extra set of clothes. You're going to want it. You're going to be cold. You're going to be sweaty. You're going to be annoyed. Um, it's usually like you'll be comfier going back to the hotel or b and &B or wherever the hell you're staying. So you get done, go out. Go shower, get yourself cleaned up. You're going to chill out. Probably be hanging out and talk with everybody. Talk about all the beatings that you've done. That's the biggest thing about this is the camaraderie between fighters and being able to talk about the fact that you kicked the shit out of one another and you're laughing about it. And you're thumping the dude on the back who thumped you in the back of the head real damn hard and put you on the ground. Like, that's, that's the fucking... That's the lightning in the bottle. So... Go and you get dinner. Make sure you try and go to dinner with your team. Make sure you try and go to dinner with other people from the tournament. It's like tournaments, like time to hang out. We're on such a spread out area. Like it's a niche sport. There's not a lot of people doing the thing. So take the time that you can and get as much time interacting with everybody else. You don't get to hang out all the time. I got people, I got friends that like I consider brothers that I've like bled and fought with and shit like that. I've only seen them twice a year if that once a year kind of thing. Um, but it's the same thing. Every time we see each other, it's the same level of like brotherly love and everything else like that. And all, and all the female teams, the same thing. Like they're all sisters to me. Um, they're all, they're all people I want to see succeed. So I, and that's a big thing for me is seeing, seeing everybody succeed and do the thing and have a fun time at the tournament. Like we're out there to have fun anyway. So if you're having fun, top end, um, you're going to hang out, you're going to chill out and get dinner party like that it's not like rip roaring like tear it all down kind of thing uh it can be if you want to i mean realistically you do as much as you can legally and uh not get us in trouble always remember that you're representing the uh whatever league you're fighting with at the point in time and you're representing something bigger than yourself um it's a pretty important thing to remember um your actions speak louder 
than any words ever could. So that's kind of like the general, that's, that's like a one day Saturday tournament, uh, depending on the side, depending on what league and what organization it could be a national tournament done one day. We've done, we've done one day national tournaments. Um, we've done two day national tournaments. So, um, maybe I'll do a video, talk about, uh, talk about the European tours that I've done. Maybe talk about the tournaments and how those kind of, how the differences are. Um, I definitely, I've definitely got some stories from overseas. Uh, we've done some crazy stuff and had some of the most medieval best times, surrealist times I've ever had in my life. Uh, sitting in a castle in Europe at a tournament, looking around going, this is what they did back in the day. This is real. Like shit. But that's for another video. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here real quick. Everybody stay safe. Wash your damn hands. Stay the hell away from each other. Um, Artists and Dice, I'm still pimping those guys. They're doing a really good thing buying the exotic D20s that they've got sitting out there. We've all got those nerd friends. Throw, throw a link. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, you buy one of those dice, you put a face shield in a health worker's hands. It's an extremely important thing. We need to keep these people safe and protected as much as humanly possible. They're the ones going to pull us out of this shit. So take, take a second, look them up, Artists and Dice. Check out the link in the description. Um, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram. I'm going to be doing more community posts. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, like it. Do all the things, man. I'm just uh, here to give you as much information as I humanly can. You guys keep the questions coming. You guys got some random things you want to know? Let me know. I'm about it. Um, and just stay safe. Keep, your, keep a level head. Trust in it. Have a good one.